All right, welcome to the Ravid Show. We are here at Snowflake Summit, and uh, it's the last day at Snowflake Summit. But look who I have with me, Vikas Ranjan from T-Mobile. Vikas, welcome to the Ravid Show. Long time due. Finally, good to see you in person, and uh, I'm kind of excited to learn more about data. Uh, you know what are you doing at T-Mobile, but uh, other things as well. But just to start with, would you like to introduce yourself? Tell us more about what you do at T-Mobile. Absolutely. First of all, thank you, Ravid, for having me here today. Yeah. I'll start with saying you guys are doing an amazing job. So Thank keep you. doing what you guys are doing. Appreciate it. You know, we have been having interactions in the past. I love what you're doing, so keep doing it. Uh, and by the way of introductions, my name is Vikas Ranjan. I've been in data space for 18 years now. And people eat food, I eat data. That's what I do every day. <laughs> yeah. All my career, T-Mobile, in my latest role, I'm a senior manager of engineering intelligence team and network. And our focus is very simple. Make our customers happy, provide the best experience, best value, and best network. I love it. And uh, obviously, uh, first of all, thanks for the kind words. We've been connected since a while. I've always see, loved your work, all the talks. I know you've had a talk here at the Snowflake Summit as well. Tell us a little about your talk and uh, how was it received. I saw so many people joining the talk. It looks like a standing room, so it was amazing. Thank you so much. Absolutely. It was really great to be here at Snowflake Summit second year for us. We had a super great partnership and discussion with Snowflake. We did have a presentation today on some of the cool stuff we are doing for T-Mobile analytics ecosystem on geospatial, near real time, and then how do we democratize data. Right, that's that's very cool. Also, you mentioned about geospatial, and uh, there was a certain project that uh, you guys were working on. Would you like to share a little about that, and uh, how does it help the customers? Absolutely. As I said earlier, our focus is to provide the best experience and best network to right. our customers. And when you talk about networks and talks about telcos, geospatial is kind of like a bread and butter for us. What we are really doing in this space is we're looking at every single literally inch of America right. and looking at where are the opportunities to improve our network, where are improvements for us to give them better experience. Right. So what we have been really doing in this space is like, hey, we're looking at roadways, we're looking at highways, we're looking at uh, rural America, we are looking at a really awesome summit like this, and we are saying, hey, do we have the best network? Do we have the best coverage? Right. Should we go and add more footprint here? So that's exactly what we have been doing in the geospatial. I love it. Uh, also, quickly wanting to learn a little about, um, you know, how do you see the data space moving? I know you're you're more like an advocate for being a builder. You're always going out there and building things yourself and with the team that you have there. So anything that you would like to share about the space evolving, but also why building is important? Absolutely. Great question, first of all. I'm sure this is the question everybody had in their minds yeah. today. I think first I will say we have never been living in a more exciting world than today. True. Right. Every organization we talk with, every organization we interact with, everybody wants to become a data-driven organization. Exactly. Right? Gone are the days people are traditionally looking at, hey, I want to build this product and buy this product and sell the product. And now we are thinking, how do we use the power of data to actually do it the right way? Right. So I'm super, super excited. We see some great innovation coming in. I know the most used word in the world of the industry today is AI. You know, but before even you go to AI, I think what we are doing in the data space, what the partners are doing, what the hyperscalers are doing, what you guys are doing is amazing, right? So can't be more excited than this. You know, um, I think the build versus buy is a topic which I'm sure everybody has a different perspective. Right. You know, I will say it, the guiding principles I have is, you know, as a leaders, the most important asset we have is our people. True. So the first guiding principle I have is, if you have people who can build it, give them the flexibility, empower wow. them, right? Yeah. Let yeah. them do the innovation, you know. Take the, what I call as a, take the fear out of their minds, right? Love it, yes. If they can't build it, you know, then look at the buy part, right? Because you're not gonna solve every single problem yourself. There, there is a time, there is a money, right? And there is a value, Exactly. Right? If you can do it fast, nimble, agile, cheaper, better, build it. You know, if you can't do that thing, bring in your partners, right? End of the day, you want to solve the problems. Yes. Right? I'm a big fan of building because I know I have a strong team, yeah. right? At the same time, I'm here for Snowflake because I have a great partner. Wow. Right? I love it. I love it. Thanks for sharing those because, because it becomes very interesting for our audience and a lot of leaders, enterprise leaders out there as well. They kind of feel that, Ravit, uh, sometimes buying becomes a task for us. Like, there are 50 different tools. 
how do yeah. we navigate um, but we have teams as well should we build but okay the expenses they kind of start you know looking at the cost the scalability yeah. how do you work around the cost that is also one uh, interesting question right yeah. i would say don't rush after the every single shiny object or every single shiny company right right most important thing for us to understand is what is the problem we are trying to solve and why behind that right why are we doing this right is it because i want to be the best network or it is because there is a really cool company doing something really cool and i want to be the first in the race right yeah. so that's basically i'll say start with why first understand the word first then you talk about you know how do you go into that philosophy right what is your uh, mantra of you know approaching one versus another i think for me it all comes down to basically when you're doing a bell versus buy it all comes down to uh looking at the total cost of ownership right and most importantly looking at the roi yep right the cost is a is the most you know i would say cost is the second most critical thing after ai now yes right? yes we as a leaders business leaders we want to adapt to the tools yeah like faster than anybody else at the same time we want to make sure that we are paying the least amount of money to do those things exactly so start with uh, a small prototypes identify the right use case start with a small prototype don't go after 50 different companies right True. do your due diligence yeah you know do a poc evaluate if it works go ahead if it doesn't work just pivot it kill right. it right love those insights thank you for sharing that because one last question because we are here at snowflake summit what are the key takeaways what do you think about this space uh what's what's going to happen in the next 6 to 8 months these guys are like super awesome man i mean snowflake what snowflake has been doing for the last 10 years especially for the last 3 years is right. like unbelievable right right uh the some of the key takeaways i have from snowflake obviously the biggest announcement we all have been waiting for is iceberg iceberg right, right. i think a big thing for us as a as a data leaders as a big enterprises we want flexibility yep. we want openness and they have been working on this for the last one year now they have made it real Right. So I can't wait to you know bring iceberg into our ecosystem where we have Hadoop's of the world, where we have Databricks of the world, where we have GCP of the world. Yeah. You have this fabric, this mesh will connect everything, interconnection. Right. So number one, super super excited about that. Right. They talked about Polaris catalog. I think it also comes on the top of uh, iceberg. Right. Build the catalog because you can have all the data in the world. People don't know what it means. Yes. Right. And then you have to go and buy a different tool. Yeah, exactly. Right? Now it is natively out of the box. It's amazing stuff there. Obviously, the announcements on Cortex AI. Can't wait to get my hands on Document AI. Yeah. Can't wait to get my hands on Text to SQL. Text to SQL. Right. This is amazing, right? And last but not least, like I said, I'm a big fan of uh, what I call as a no data is valuable if it's not accurate. Yeah. They did some announcement around Trail with data quality, data observability. So much cool stuff, right? I don't even know. I can run out of. the list of things they have announced today right i love it yeah all the great announcements definitely i was following it closely and uh, snowflake definitely does a great job in bringing the people together but at the same time being innovative at every uh, you know at every conference possible so we've seen all of that uh, one last question for you if you people want to reach out to you learn more about you know the bill versus buy or talk about data which is what you love talking about sure uh, where can they reach out to you first of all i'm not expert on bill versus buy yeah right but i can share a little bit of what i know yeah. in my experience yeah. happy to be connected with linkedin uh, i'm sure ravid can share the details yeah for sure but happy to talk happy to learn happy to understand you know keep doing the good work everybody thank you very much because it is such a pleasure hosting you on the ravid show finally we meet but we'll keep the conversation going i'm pretty sure next time we meet we'll have more stuff absolutely ravid keep sharing the good work with everybody thank you you are awesome keep doing that thank you vikas thank, thank you everyone you.